Huh. Says why. Do you guys see us sideways? Does everybody see us sideways? I don't know either. So I'm just gonna. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Because I think it was sideways. So okay, this is. I'm just getting closer <laughs> to you, hey baby. <laughs> this is Sue from Grave Tales. I'm doing it install my my mainstream because I was doing it on the pages viewer earlier and it crashed. So sorry if you were watching that. Um, but you guys who are viewing, let me know who you are. Hey Richard. Justin, hi! <laughs> um, yeah, leave comments. Let me know who you are. I see you guys. Thank you for tuning in. So this is Lee Kirk. She's a sci-fi romance yes. author, um, and she's helping with me with day six of my Every Day in August Facebook Live Challenge. Um, and so I really quickly want to show one of her books that she writes. I would normally turn it around so it's not backwards, but we have problems. So these are her fantastic books. Thank you. In the Prophecy <laughs> series. Um, she's got another one coming out, not in the Prophecy series, but in, why don't you tell us about it? Paranormal Romance. And I have, it's a um, uh, vampire romance, and it's the first time I've actually written about vampires or anything that's, you know, earthbound, uh, <laughs> not alien, <laughs> but I'm really happy with it, and, and I hope you guys enjoy it too, and that's coming out on September 19th, um, so soon. That is soon, soon. yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm and very excited about it. And then you have another one after that. I do. I'm part of a box book set called Other Worlds Box Book Set, which is actually on pre-order now, so for 99 cents. <laughs> so go pick up a copy. <laughs> and that's called? <laughs> and that one is, the, the story I'm writing for that one is Touch the Stars. And, uh, and again, the box book set is called Other Worlds Box Book Set. Excellent. And, yes. So. so something, we just came back from lunch, and yes. something that we were talking about is that when you're a reader... There, it's sort of this black box. How, like, where do stories come from? Like, where do plot twists? Where, just like, where does this all come from in your head? And so, she made, she made a statement um, <laughs> that she just just realized something. Something like came to her, and I'm like, I don't, I don't really understand. Like, how, did, how you made this in your brain, right? Like, you you created this story, and then you're saying, I just sort of, I suddenly realized something came to me. So tell me what it's like inside a writer's brain. Like, <laughs> do you create these stories or do they just sort of use you as a mouthpiece? Um, I think it's more they use us as a mouthpiece. Honestly, <laughs> uh, it's... And, and oftentimes we don't even know where things are going until they suddenly happen and boom, everything comes together. Uh, I, was, I was telling Sue earlier one of the... One of my classic um, experiences was a uh, minor character and a character who had just been mentioned in passing in prophecy. I looked over my shoulder one day and they were going at it. And <laughs> I was, okay, well, I guess you guys want a story. And so that's how All of Me, which is a short story, got written. And uh, yeah, I did not expect that. But, you know, it was just these things, these threads that suddenly pull together one little thing and snaps into place and it's like oh okay that explains how that happened but um yeah so is it's, that is that how you know if you're a writer or a reader like, <laughs> if you don't have voices in your head maybe you're not a writer <laughs> maybe <laughs> well you too you're you're the reader you know so you tell yeah. me you don't have voices in I your don't. head but i hear voices i've I got don't. voices man it's and it's it's a party in there a lot <laughs> this is why i love being around authors because they they're crazy, but <laughs> awesome. Crazy. This is why we're crazy. We hear voices. <laughs> They're just fun. That they let me live and play in their story worlds, and that makes yeah. me really happy. Yeah. Well, you help us too. So thank you. <laughs> so I think that's going to wrap it up for today. I normally do this Facebook Live challenge on my Grave Tell stream, and I'm probably going to go back there tomorrow. And I have a really fun new toy that I got yesterday uh, for my birthday. We'll see if you can pick it out in the back of the video. Uh, so if you want to follow that, it's Facebook page. So it's like facebook.com slash grave tells, G-R-A-V-E-T-E-L-L-S. Um, thank you to the three people who tuned in live and actually left comments. Justin, I miss thank you. <laughs> I miss you and Monique so much. You guys are amazing. Aww. And I might be in Texas soon. Oh, that's right. I know. Um, sooner than you think. And Christina, hello. Hello. Say hi to my dad. And Richard, it was great to talk to you too. I haven't talked to you in like forever. So, okay, uh, that's going to be it for today. I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe nice see you, you on my stream. <laughs> Thanks. Sure, thank you. <laughs> Bye.